Hey everyone, it's Okane and I'm going to talk about pips, pipits, and how to calculate pip values and more. Have you ever wondered what all those decimals on your charts represent? When someone says a pip, like I want to trade with five pips, which decimal or number are they talking about? And how are pips and pipettes relevant to trading binary options or forex? Uh, why should you even know about them? So what happens if price doesn't move and your trade expires? What if the pips are similar as your entry price, which is also known as strike price? <laughs> Just to be clear here, I'm not talking about lab pipettes, but the price of an asset. Let's take a look at this very artistic illustration which I put together for you. Beautiful, isn't it? So, what do we see here? Uh, first, to the left, we got this happy looking bullish candlestick. As you can see, it opened at 1.50010. So, the 1 represents the pip, and the pipit is the 0. The last decimal so it's the fifth decimal so this could be the price of your USD if you look open your charts whatever you're using MetaTrader whatever you open your charts if you look at the fifth decimal you will see there are uh, f five decimals after the decimal mark five digits so the fifth one is the pipet and the fourth one is the pip so what happens if you I took a trade at the opening of the bullish candle and it went up uh, like in this case it went up to 1.50099 okay so the 9 is the pip and then the last digit is the pivot right so it went up for 8.9 pips or you could also say 8 pips and 9 pivots it's the same thing uh, what about the other example, the red candlestick, which uh, opened higher and closed lower. So in this case, the pip is also the fourth digit, uh, which is five, and it goes down to 1.52482. Okay, so uh, it moves down by six pips and uh, eight pipits. Okay, 6.8 pips. So, so that's how you see which one is pips and pipits. Um, what about yen based assets, you know, like USD JPY? So, if you open your charts now and look at your Euro JPY, USD JPY, what do you see? You see that uh, the decimal mark is not at the same place. So, uh, at the right of the decimal mark, you only have three digits, right? So let's look at how we can also see which one is the pip and the pipet. So basically, after the decimal mark, uh, the second digit is the pip. Uh, so all you have to do basically, I mean, a simple rule is to just move the decimal mark to the left by two digits and you get the same example as in the euro usd uh, or uh, other assets so it's pretty simple that way or you can just um, remember that the second digit is the pip uh, so what happens um, in this example if usd JPY moves up by 2.9 pips so you add that uh, 0.029 to the price asset and you see that in this case it will reach uh, 111.480 okay so it moved up 2.9 pips so you see it's uh, pretty much the same scenario so you just have to think that uh, decimal moves a couple of digits so that's all pretty straightforward uh, so how is this relevant to binary options Do you even have to know all these things well Here's a uh, EURUSD uh, from 24 options platform. You can see that uh, it actually does show all the digits, but not all brokers do that. 
So that's something you have to keep in mind when you select a broker. Of course, lately, as of lately, uh, regulated brokers have to show real market quotes. They have to show you the entire price. So if you're with a regulated broker, I'm pretty sure all the digits are there. Because in binary options, you can win by just one pipet. So if the broker is not showing you uh, the pipets, then you can obviously get cheated if you win by half a pip, which is 0.5 pipets then uh, they can, since they're not showing that digit, they can tell you that you lost. So it's important that you check your platform and see that all the digits are there. Moving on, let's move on to Forex and lots. Lots mean, uh, a standard lot uh, means 100,000 unit of a currency, okay? As you can see in the picture, um, we see that one lot equals 100,000 euros and uh, you see that the platform calculates for us that one lot is $10, okay? The pip value is $10, right? So that means if price moves up by, say, 10 pips, you make 100 bucks. How are these calculated? I mean, you don't really have to do the science. The platforms, as you can see, already do that. Most uh, platform, I don't think there is any uh, Forex platform that doesn't calculate this for you automatically. So you don't have to sit down and do this prior to each trade. Uh, that would take time and you would most likely miss your entry. So um, it's still good to know how the broker gets those prices in case you want to double check uh, for yourself. So. You should know that price is simply a quote, meaning a division between two assets, right? So for example, Euro USD means Euro divided by USD, where uh, the Euro is the base currency, okay? And this is also good to know, for example, when there is news, if one gets stronger, one uh, asset gets stronger due to news and one other asset gets weaker due to news, then you would know the outcome, you would know uh, which direction it's likely to move towards because as I said it's a quote it's a division so um, if the base currency gets stronger then you are obviously dividing uh, a bigger number by a smaller number which means uh, it's gonna just the quote is gonna get bigger and bigger right makes sense simple math um, I'm not going to go too much into news, I've already explained that in other videos. So how do we calculate PIP values? Uh, again, using EURUSD for example, consider prices at 1.11640, okay? And we are trading um, one lot, which means we are controlling 100,000 euros, uh, which you saw in the previous example. And uh, now we want to know how much is one pip. So that's the fourth decimal, right? So 0 0.0001 times the number of euros we are controlling. And that's 10. And the exchange rate, as we said, was 640. So we divide 10 by the exchange rate. And it gives us almost 9. So the pip value here, and this, that's in euros, by the way, so that's uh, 9 euros, uh, which would pretty much be 10 in dollars almost. Uh, so that's the pip value right there. Okay, um, so just to conclude it all, pips in binary options, doesn't really matter that much how much pip you make. In Forex, you want to make a lot of pips because uh, the more pips you make, the more money you can make also, uh, depending on your pip value, of course. Uh, in binary options, you just have to close either above or below. And uh, I mentioned strike price. Strike price is when price closes at the same rate where you executed your option. And some brokers are going to pay you back the money. And some pro brokers are actually going to count that as a loss. Uh, there is, however, no broker that calculates that uh, as a winning trade. So uh, if you get strike price, you enter, for example, at 
uh, 1.500 uh, and do a trade closes at the same rate uh, with for example one broker you're gonna get your money back with the other one they're gonna tell you you lost uh, so they can do that so check with your broker uh, the, their terms and conditions before you trade um, however if you frequently lose or win trades within one pip maybe you should consider checking your strategy because you're obviously not getting the good entries you're not getting the good expiries so you should learn and evaluate your strategy your skills and see why you're not making uh, winning trades with a few pips rather than just a few pips why is it so close to losing all the time okay uh, so thanks for watching guys i hope this helps i see you next time